hello everyone in this video we are going to discuss about an interesting aws blog which talks about trans agents this trans agents is an open source ai agents sdk which is introduced by aws which is very very helpful in building ai agents another interesting fact is as i already mentioned it's an open source so you can take it and you can deploy it anywhere even on your local machine are on production grade systems as well so this blog talks about lot of interesting things how this journey started and all these things it's like if you see amazon q developer is one of the uh, agent ek or llm based application which is introduced by aws in reinvent in 2023 based on this paper uh, this is an paper which is published by google which is on uh, react reasoning and acting on language models they took this project and they created this sdk so how this looks like um, the core concepts of trans agents how it looks like uh, it actually starts with a prompt uh, prompt is an usual thing which we can do it with llm we will send the prompt to the agent that agent will talk to the model in this case it is going to be an llm llm of any choice uh, so here if you can see currently it is supporting bedrock related foundation models so all the anthropic apis and everything is supported even if you are deploying it in, in the local mode olama is supported so any local models which you deploy on your own computer using olama you can utilize those specific models and then the another important fact is the tools uh, tools is the key factor here we are discussing about tools using mcps uh, again mcps is the new term for those who are new to mcps mcps is the model context protocol which is the usb c for any llm you can consider that as an usb c port so usb c is the common port to interact with computers right similarly it is an usb c port to interact with any of the models it got introduced by anthropic in later 2024 so in order to understand about how the mcp works and all this is a good blog from medium as usual i will be posting the link for this blog in the description of this video now you can see this here right so each and everything is called as an mcp server so the each and every mcp server is connected to a data source so you consider this as an api um, api call instead of calling the api via the post or get or those protocols you we are going to call the mcp servers here so the mcp servers can be called using the mcp protocol it's more or less similar to api but a stand standardized version of api for calling the machine learning model sorry llm models actually right that is how it works so the tools comes with uh, those specific things even if you see aws comes up with lot of mcp servers for most of the aws services already they came up with the mcp servers so you can see here amazon kendra nova aws diagram lambda mcp server aws terraform mcp server most of the services already mcp servers are established meaning we can call these mcp servers from those specific agents actually using this trans sdk simple as simple as it is so the prompt is the usual one which we already saw here is the interesting thing how this looks like say a user can invoke a prompt it will go to the agent here right this agent will interact with the model and also it will interact with the tools tools we already saw all the relevant information say if you are dealing with an retrieval augmented generation that is also a tool so any server of any forms that can be used as a tool so this this complete paragraph is very good to read uh, i'm I, anyway i'm posting this link you can go through this right so it this agent will go in an endless loop with the model until it gets the result that is the major advantage of agent ka earlier days if you see lang chain will do the chain of thought prompting it goes on uh, prompting the model until it gets the proper result similarly here this agent is going to do it in a loop uh, that is how it is mentioned here the stands agentic loops takes the full advantage of how powerful llms have become and how well they can natively reason plan and select tools in each loop stands invokes the llm with the prompt and the agent context along with the description of your agent tool the llm can choose to respond in natural language for agents end user plan out series of steps reflect on agents previous steps and 
and select one or more tools to use. This is the key factor of Agent EKA. That is the reason why the Agent EKA is the uh, new generation way of developing the LLM applications here. Right. So the retrieval tool, the tools can be of any form. They are mentioning it as retrieval tool, thinking tool, multi-agent tools. As we already discussed, any of the forms of tools, any of the forms of MCP APIs can be used here. Right. How we can start with the agents? This is the simple example which they are giving. How to name my open source project? It is very simple with very few lines of codes. We can simply we can utilize these trans agents. We can call this. These are all pip install. It comes with the uh, Python SDK. Right. Uh, this is the trans agents uh, GitHub page, and uh, we are having lot of things here. Uh, this is the Python SDK for trans agents. How we can install it? Everything is available in here. I will be posting all these links in the description. Right. So by simply calling uh, this specific stands agents along with the LLM and the specific tools using the MCP servers, we can uh, build an agent EKA within a few fraction of time actually. Right. So, so same pip install all these things they are mentioning here. MCP servers here they are using the UVX servers for stands agents for M MCP server. So how we can deploy as we already discussed this can be deployed locally. This can be deployed in production grade environments as well. See they are representing it here. Uh, how we can deploy these agents in a local mode. So the client app everything is in the local computer. So all the tools and MCPs are in local agent is also in the local agent is similarly this trans SDK. So you can download this using pip install into your local computer and you can you will have your own LLM model which is running on your local computer and tools as well on your local computer. So you can invoke this in the entire local model. You can run this behind an API as well. You can run this behind an isolated backend environment as well and you can use the mix of tools uh, as well. Some in backend, some in front end. You will be having your local tools which needs to be interacted. Every everything all forms of possibilities are possible. So this is an interesting thing which AWS recently introduced. This is very good. It's an open source one. Uh, so uh, please try to utilize this. You can build your own agent EKA type of uh, applications using this trans SDK. Thank you very much for watching this video.